Hello guys and welcome back to another one of our videos uh, where today we are going to show off our portable vacuum chamber system. So this is a portable vacuum system and um, these are our standard products and what this essentially is is a um, vacuum chamber, a vacuum pump and it's portable unlockable swivel casters. So uh, today we're actually towards the end of our shop and the reason being is that we have been very very busy um, towards the end of this year and it's it's been crazy so we're kind of running out of space we have some crates here that are actually waiting to be shipped out and we've actually had to push a lot of the stuff down here so we're we're literally running out of space and uh, it's because we have a lot of uh, cool customers and cool projects and so um, it's it's very exciting. So hopefully we're gonna get this out and free up some space so we can do these videos in our in our office over there, you know, across the uh, you know uh, machine shop. So um, I tell you what we're gonna do. Um, we've had some questions about people they wanting to see you know the vacuum pump down, and how long it's gonna take. So uh, before we do that, I'll tell you what. Um, how about you guys uh, like and subscribe to this video and this channel. And um, we'll, we'll um, uh, start pumping down this uh, vacuum. So before you start pumping down, make sure the venting valve is off. And this particular one, it's NW25 quick flange um, vacuum valve. It's um, on, so we have an open position. And of course our vacuum gauge is a Instratec Stinger vacuum gauge. So let's turn this bad boy on, here we go. And let me show you guys how long it's going to take to actually pump this down. Um, while this is pumping down, uh, let's go over some cool features that this vacuum chamber has. So of course, um, this port plate again. Yes, it is. It is very popular. It is very, very um, wanted. It is a hot, uh, hot item. So, uh, people get it. People like it and people are able to customize it by just removing the port plate and adding whatever they want to add such as a usb port which is right here it's a feed through port and we have about i don't know it's about 12 wires uh, that are connected from the inside i mean to from the outside towards the inside right there so there you guys have it. And then of course, lockable swivel casters. You can just, they're all four are lockable. Bam, and we lock it. And here we go again. Now it's locked. And now this thing ain't going nowhere. So, let me unlock it. And let me show you. So this vacuum pump also has a exhaust filter and because it's a rotary vane vacuum pump and it has an exhaust filter and this exhaust filter um, filters out most of the oil mist that comes from this rotary vein pump. And then there's a connection. You guys can see from down here, from the vacuum pump, kind of curls around and comes back in here. So, where are we? So, um, this is a 20 inch acrylic vacuum chamber, inside dimensions, front loading. Uh, we, we've talked about it, it has, you know, about five hinges on this side has two door clamps and a door handle and precision routed o-ring groove in the door um, or lid and let me also show you something else that's really cool that we have and that is our o-ring is i'm sorry not our o-ring our flat um our hinges sorry guys it's late like i said we've been busy because our customers have been happy and they've been order ordering from us so you know my brain is kind of fried. So in any case, I wanted to show you guys that this these are adjustable um, hinges, which means that this hinge, you actually tighten this and you have 100% control to actually make this lid parallel to this flange. So the risk of actually misalignment of the door kind of, you know, uh, being sloppy and what, whatnot, it's, it's eliminated because you can tighten these. You see, this is actually, the, the force is very much spread across this door 
and anything that's hinged, this is how we do it. And actually it has some cool uh, benefits because if you ever replace the O-ring, uh, our competitors, they don't offer these types of hinges. Not all of our competitors. I mean, we gotta give them credit. Some of them they do, but many of our competitors, they just have a, just a regular, you know, cabinet hinge here. And that's not the way to go because uh, you want to have, you want to be able to adjust it properly so that there is a parallel between, you know, these two surfaces. So um, that's, that's pretty much it. And so these, these are the hinges and you can adjust them by actually tightening this bolt on here and actually pulling this side in. And then at this, likewise, if you pull this side in, this side is going to pop out so you can pull this side in and kind of align it. And you can align it along this um, you know, side, and then you have this counter clamps on this side, and um, uh, it, it, it enables you to um, have a parallel door and a parallel seal. Uh, and some of our competitors don't have that, so uh, that is pretty much it. And so, let me also go over here to our vacuum gauge and let's take a look. Look at this. 182 millitor. Millitor. That's crazy, isn't it? That is 99.99% vacuum in, what was it, like in the last five minutes? In five minutes, we went from 720, I mean, we were a little bit higher, usually 760 C level, to about 159. Millitor. That's not tor, that's millitor. So point zero one five five four. See that? That's insane. That's crazy. That's how good this uh, vacuum system is. Um, so, so we're talking about ninety nine point nine eight percent vacuum or nine nine eight. I don't have. Um, I have never been. Uh, a good calculator. I can calculate stuff in my head too well, but look at that. It's 141 millitor. And we started at 725 tor. That's cool. So this is why we say um, our chambers are robustly designed and, you know, quality built and robustly designed to actually, um, you know, last you a long time and actually perform the way you want, to, uh, you want a vacuum system to perform. So, you know, going this fast and pumping this fast down on an acrylic vacuum chamber is, is generally unheard of. So, uh, that's what it is. And let me show you something else. So, do you guys want to take a guess um, if uh, I'll be able to actually open this door? Oh, nope, I won't be able to. Do you guys know how much force there is on this door right now. It is about, so we're about 13 PSI. So you do 20 times 20, which is 400 times 13. What is that? Uh, 52? No, whatever. Yeah, it's about 5,200 pounds. So 13. It's actually 4,900 pounds, right? No, it's 52. I got that right, 52. See, I'm, I'm not that bad. Um, somebody check my math, but it's 5,200 pounds. I mean, that's a, that's a pickup truck of force actually applied onto this just onto, onto this door. And this is why our, our acrylic is this thick. Uh, and so, yeah, I, I don't think I can lift a pickup truck with my left hand and the reason I said 13 was because um, 13 psi is because we're a little bit of a higher altitude and that's why we're about 13 psi absolute pressure at sea level uh, this is about 15 one five psi uh, meaning that um, you know 15 times uh, 20 times 20 what is that six uh, uh, 15 30 yeah, 6,000 pounds. So it's about 6,000 pounds applied, a force applied uh, to this door. So, so that's, that's like a, a beefier pickup truck. Uh, 
just across the store. So that's just kind of like, you know, um, some FYI and some, some food for thought here. So in about 10 minutes, we got down to 117 new door. Isn't that cool? So this is what we can do, our portable vacuum chamber and pump system. Um, you know, if you guys have a need uh, for a system like this, feel free to contact us, give us a call, uh, hit us up. And of course, make sure you guys like and subscribe. Thank you for that. Thank you for watching this video and thank you for your support, guys. And we'll see you on our website when you guys need some vacuum systems. All right, cheers. Oh, and before I let you go, guys, I am going to vent this chamber. So close the vacuum valve. I'll turn off the pump. And then I am going to see there's a little bit of vacuum drift. That's not too much. See that? 87, 88, and then bam. And the door kind of pops out a little bit. So there you guys go. Oh, that is really cool. So when I touch it inside, uh, the air is warmer than on the outside. And I thought about it and I realized why that is. Because when we vent the chamber, we know that you know temperature is the average kinetic energy of the air molecules that are you know in this room so what happens is that when the chamber is venting the fastest molecules which are the hottest go into this chamber first which means that the fastest molecules get into this chamber much faster than the colder one that are outside here and this is why the air inside is hotter after you vented it isn't that cool? I know it's cool. All right, well, I'll, I'll let you go now, guys. I've, I've, I've talked enough. So thank you guys for watching, and you guys have a good day. Bye-bye.